G'day folks, welcome to this uh, live playthrough of Scenario 3, hold your position at all costs from Race for Bastogne. Uh, of course, part of the GTS series designed by Adam Starkweather. My understanding is that this module was uh, design, excuse me, designed by uh, Mike Curtis and Brent Easton. I know they've designed some of the earlier uh, Vassal mods for the GTS titles, and I think they also designed this one, but correct me if I'm wrong, if you know who uh, designed this, if you want to correct me, please let me know, um, and I'll correct the record. Okay, so, um, solo play. This is a, a good scenario for solo play of the GTS series. It sees the initial German attack of that Operation Wachtum Rhein, Battle of the Bulge, as they're kind of advancing out west from the Earl River towards these very static American positions. You can see, um, let me get this out of the way for you. You can see uh, the entrenched Americans around Hosingen, a lot of static Americans in improved positions. There are a few units behind the lines that have no activation markers on them, and they will become activated either sort of has a reinforcement event throughout the, the course of play or if the Germans move within their, their firing zone. Um, there's not a lot standing between the Germans and the Clerf River, this blue line here. Uh, if you've seen my sort of preview video for this, I kind of cover the, the various roads, but there's a road through Clairvaux, uh, a road down the middle here, and another road down the south near Hosingen. Now I've taken some time to set up the defenders. This is probably the most important defensive position in Hosingen. It's where the bulk of the uh, Volksgrenadier reinforcements will be coming through along that road. At the start of the scenario, there are two ferries, one in the north around here and one in the south. And only foot units can cross these ferries. And to do so, they expend half their movement allowance. The bridges become cleared on about the 1500 turn uh, and that will enable wheeled and tracked units to then cross the Ur River and hopefully rush up those primary and secondary roads. With primary roads and secondary roads. Uh, and, and they'll be wanting to rush to the front pretty much. Alright, uh, if you've got any questions along the way, let me know. Uh, I assume many people watching are familiar with the GTS system, but I'm happy to clarify any issues. If you pick something up, let me know. Playing solo, uh, I move pretty quickly and I may well make a mistake. So if you see it, yell it out and I'll, uh, I'll try and correct it or at least make a note of it. Alright, I will get rid of my mug and we can uh, get going. Okay, so the scenario uh, dictates that the Germans can select one of their divisions to activate first and the rest go in the cup. Um, so I'm, well, the other one, so I'm selecting the second Panzer division to go first and then I'm placing the rest in the cup. But this scenario also starts at the very beginning of the turn sequence of play, I think. The scenario instructions, the, the, all the scenario, the general instructions indicate that you begin at this, the first step of the sequence of play unless otherwise instructed, and I don't think I'm instructed to do so for this scenario. So we um, determine the weather, and let's have a look at this turn track. It's, <laughs> it's taken a lot of time to build this together, but basically, um, we're starting on the 15th of December, we've got the date up here. The time is actually night, um, and there is no weather effect. So that uh, the weather is in the none box there, and it is overcast. We then determine American air power, nothing to do here, place reinforcements, we have nothing to do there. Then we can buy dispatch points at a cost of two command points for one dispatch point. And this is pretty critical. I can't see um, any specific instructions that 
says that the Germans can't do this on the first turn. And I think it's pretty important because they really want to get some of their formations in the chip, particularly the, the Volksgrandier division. This, um, these two formations down here, green and red. So what I'd like to do is... I need to think about my line of attack. Um, there's basically one main road leading through Holzingen. I'd like the... Um, Zooming in a bit down to the south. I'd like the uh, Fusilier Regiment 39 to perhaps bypass Holzingen and push on around the road whilst the 77th Grenadier Regiment focuses um, on Holzingen. So I'm going to spend two dispatch points to place their activation chip in the cup this turn. I'm then going to spend one second Panzer Division uh, dispatch point to place Kampfgruf Kochen in the cup the following turn. So I'm purchasing that for the following turn. And I'm going to do the same thing for Fusilier Regiment 39. So it's another dispatch point from the 26th Vox Grenadier Regiment. Hey Steve. General Chaos 31, he's keeping an eye on me, making sure I don't uh, don't make any mistakes. Uh, okay, so everything's in the cup. We have, of course, 110th Infantry Regiment available as a formation activation. I I don't think I'm going to do that. I mean, they have a purple fire rating on a lot of the infantry. Um, uh, they got five command points, but really. When on the defensive, I like to spend these command points uh, to automatically pass all of those possible suppression and suppression to cohesion hit results. All right, I think we're all set, ready to go. Uh, we've purchased our. Uh, we we can, if we want, purchase command uh, dispatch points with our command points. I don't think I will just now. Um, I'd like to have a few of these up my sleeve. Five for the Panzer Division. Americans on the same side have five as well. So with that done, uh, artillery parks have already been created and set up. I'll just highlight where they are on the map. And I'll show you the range as well. So there's artillery park A for the second Panzer Division. I'll bring this over and I'll just highlight the range of this artillery. So they can go almost simply crossing the Clerf River here. They can hit the vast bulk of these American forces, except those way, way out of uh, the line here. And then there's another one um, for the Volksgrenadier, actually parked down here. And it has a similar range. It can reach pretty much this line, hitting the vast bulk of those American defenders. So those parks are set up. They are in contact with uh, various leaders. You can see Magic Cochran uh, up here with two pieces. That should be actually... Yeah, he's in contact with those. Uh, and the same down here, two here. To there, and I've split up the artillery. Just a brief note I've given uh, the strongest and the weakest to Kampf Group, uh, sorry, to Grenadier Regiment 77, and the two four strength ones to Fusilier Regiment 39 down south. All right, now we've put the chips in the cup, perform the activation phase. We start with 2nd Panzer Division activation. Now, something to keep in mind, as I said, there's this bridge here which will open later, there's a ferry here which will ferry units across, there is a minefield here, and this is the primary road through which these reinforcements are driving. So the first thing I want to do is get these engineers in here and sit there. Now they can't do an engineering action as their secondary action, so they, uh, they're they in place and ready to do those engineering actions uh, on the next formation activation or division activation for the next turn. Oh, of course there's a division command, I've got to roll for division. <laughs> uh, dispatch and command points. Keep a watch on me. Okay, so um, command points. Here we go. Let's roll the dice. Command points. That's three plus our command rating is five. Is eight command points. Brings up to thirteen. Dispatch points. We're on one, uh, so we don't gain any. Okay, let's move these forces. Now I have set one of them up in column. And they, basically we're just going to move towards this rearguard over here. Um, 
they're not going to be able to do much this turn, but they'll be in a position for next turn. So one, two, this is moving through clear terrain, uh, three, and then using this primary road, three and a half, four. One thing that I keep messing up as I'm playing through these scenarios is I always, always, always forget the effects of weather. Now at present there are none, there are no weather effects, no, but once it becomes foggy, we have movement cost plus one. When it rains, all movement cost plus one, unless in column on primary road. When it snows, all movement cost plus one, or plus, or plus a half, sorry, unless in column on primary road. Uh, as many times as I told myself to remember this, I keep forgetting. Alright, so they are, they're moving up there. I'd like to get these guys next. We'll place them in column. One, two, three, four. And these guys in the column. One, two, three, four, I think is the, uh, the cost to move through wooded terrain for infantry in column. Yep, yeah, leg in column. And then we'll bring uh, the rest of these guys up. These are the engineers now. Um, as I said, engineers up the top here. An extra engineer here, there's nothing really for them. I mean, there may be more roadblocks somewhere in this area. The Americans have a few regards to place, a couple of roadblocks, and one extra minefield. Um, this is, I think these regards are really going to be critical in slowing them now because there aren't a lot of units on, on the board at the start. Um, <laughs> one of the things I'm, I'm not doing a lot of is, I mean, this is, as I'm learning the game, I am kind of learning when and where to place these uh, these extra roadblocks, but uh, it's, it's going to be really critical in, in these scenarios. So I need to remember those roadblocks. Okay, then we'll put the pioneers in column, and they'll just move straight across the woods. One, two, three, four, and um, yeah. That's the end of their activation. We do have engineers here, they're operating the ferry. Okay. And basically once the ferry is no longer needed, they'll probably move out, disband that ferry and move out. I'll probably check out to check the rules again on how to disband ferries, I've forgotten. Alright. That is now done. We can draw the next activation ship out of the cup. Grenadier Regiment 77 down south. Okay, now this is where I may want to spend some command points to soften up these defenders. So let's start, I've got three mortars in this area, just to highlight over and show you what I've got. Two infantry here, okay, I've got some infantry in column up here, a uh, mortar, more infantry, and a mortar here. Um, and then main target is, is these two X's here. Now just to give you an idea, again I covered this in the, um, the scenario preview video that I did, but I've placed the engineers in Hosingen, they have a plus one defence rating, but it is minus two for the town and minus two for the entrenchments and they're considered armoured. So it's a net negative three armoured unit. They're going to be tough. I've placed the infantry out in the open. The reason I've done this is... Let's get up close in person. Um, this is the main road for the Volksgrindy, east, west, just south of Holzing. Now if I were to place the infantry perhaps here or here, there's a bit of flexibility in setup it would enable the Germans to kind of bypass around to the south. I mean, they could still kind of cut across the woods here. Um, I should have explained the victory conditions. I've done this in the scenario video. The Germans need to cross, have a clean road to the Clerf River along here. There's a crossing here. I think I pointed this out earlier. Crossing up here. Um, yeah, crossing here. So this is one of the main roads for the uh, 26 Volksgrenadier. And so they want to clear out this road. And so the Americans have been placed on this clear terrain uh, to to block them. That makes them slightly more vulnerable, but uh, I think it's important to slow the Germans down right here at this point, prevent them moving through. Okay, so Volksgrenadier, they're going to spend a command point to fire. Uh, this mortar here, so not moving, first action is done. Second acti action is a uh, division activation ship. They're going to fire on the, uh, the engineers here. They're a single step unit, so there's no company bonus. It's just an indirect fire with a mortar spotted by their uh, compatriots here at the front. Basically needing, um, well, a three, minus three, needing a zero to hit a two. Okay, so we place a 
light barrage marker on that hex. What else have we got around here? Uh, this mortar here, again, they'll fire on the infantry. We might take, try and take out, the engine is going to be tough to crack. The infantry, less so. Uh, so let's try and hit them. Again, this is negative two for the entrenchment. They're armoured, so needing a one or less to hit. And that's a zero. Okay, good start. A zero mortar result on an armoured unit is a cohesion hit. And there's a barrage marker as well. And we've got one more mortar here. I've oh, got to spend the command point for that. Another thing I often forget. One more mortar here. Um, they have a range of six, but they can't see this um, AA gun. There's woods in the way, so the line of sight is blocked. So they will target the infantry again. Um, command points, do I spend it? It's always a kind of difficult decision. Five command points, decent command rating of four. Their division sheet hasn't come out yet, so they'll gain some more. So let's uh, let's draw. let's do it. It's done. <laughs> okay, um, four or less on the infantry. Minus two it is two or less. Yeah, it's a waste. Okay. Well, I've also placed uh, this infantry in column up the top here, and they're going to try and move around the top. So they're going to move one. And keep in mind, this, uh, these engineers have a range of one and a range of one. Uh, just for those watching who aren't familiar, if uh, there's no range number at the top right here where my mouse is, the units have a range of one. So they're going one, two, two and a half, three and a half, and they're going to stop there. Um, I don't want to I don't want to bypass those even too much. I was thinking just to put a little bit of pressure on the rear. Um, Okay, these guys are going to go one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I do have my off map artillery, which I didn't think about either. Um, well, let's have a look at those. This is one and four. I could fire with a four there. At the, yeah, let's do that. Okay, spending another command point to fire with this unit here. So this will have. Uh, yeah, company bonus, five or, uh, sorry, four or less for the company bonus, targeting the uh, the infantry again. Okay, so company bonus, they're up to a strength of seven on this infantry. So seven minus two is five or less on an armoured target. Is a four. All right, terrain effects chart says that this is a possible suppression. Now, early in the game, this front line of defence, the Americans really don't want to be suppressed, so they're going to spend some of their valuable command points to ensure that they pass that trip quality check. I should point out, where is their command? It is here. In the range of 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You can just reach. I place him very carefully, so he's just in range of most of these units. He can't reach the mortar up the top there, and he can't reach this uh, company down the bottom, or of course a rear guard bulk of these units in the centre are in his command. Alright, so uh, yeah, possible suppression, they pass. What now? Um, do I get close and up front with these guys? Three infantry, I've got three command points left. Um, passing their first action. Um, their second action is going to be to getting closer to I'm going to target the infantry first as I said. So the first unit, second unit moving in there, and third unit moving down here. Now I use I spent a command point for three command points, three units moving as their second action. Um, and because I spent a command point I can move the leader as well. Now there are these pioneers as well which I haven't moved and they'll just go one, two Three, four, um, yeah, infantry 
regular, not in column, moving through clear is two movement points each. All right. That is the end. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think I'm done. That was a... Uh, I could have moved them for their first action. I didn't have to spend a command point, did I? I was... In my head, it had... It <laughs> I was thinking I was playing their division activation. So I'll give them the command points back. And why not spend those command points on firing with those three infantry? One, two, three. Uh, again, I'm kind of rushing through this. I need to slow down a bit. Um, all right, we'll start with this unit that moved first. Company bonus, five or less firing on the infantry. They're all going to try and focus on this infantry, so five or less. Yes, company bonus. Hitting at six or less, minus two is four or less. Miss. All right, spend a command point with these guys. Five or less. No. So hitting at two or less. No. And lastly, these guys. Five or less. No. Hitting at two or less. No. So they all miss. Um, I also realised I spent command points for this artillery fire, but that didn't need to happen either. So I'm giving myself the command points back. Um, for some reason I had in my head that I'd drawn their division activation, because I just drew the second panzer division activation. Um, but that's not the case. I also need to keep my eye on the reinforcement schedule. Um, yeah, the first reinforcements arrive at the 11am turn. So there's no reinforcements for the first three turns. Okay. Alright, let's... Um, I think we're all done there. Did I also use... I also used a command point to fire with the artillery. Um, and that artillery can fire for free. So I'm giving myself that command point back. Um, And I will fire with the other artillery piece that can fire for free under his command. So this piece here, company bonus three or less, yes. Targeting the infantry, needing a five or less, minus two for their entrenchments. He's three or less on an armoured target? No. Okay. Since formation it was the only art park contacts uses attachments, yeah. He has an attachment rating of four. Alright, let me know if I've done something wrong there. Um, again, sorry, I had in my head that uh, I've drawn the, the division activation. I think we're all done with those guys, so let's uh, get to the Allied Direct Command. And, um, yeah, I'm kind of wondering if I should be placing some rear guards and starting to move. Getting some of these guys closer. This mortar can move down here. Look, I think for the time being, I'll keep everyone where they are. They're in some decent, improved positions. So let's move to the next activation ship. Yeah, 28th Infantry Division activation. Let's start with their command rating. So that's 1 plus 5 is 6. So 10. Dispatch. Use 2. Uh, this dispatch rating is 2, so they gain 1 point. Leader should not have, yeah, you're right actually. Leader should not have moved. Thanks, Steve. Um, and at the end of that formation activation, he can move to a friendly unit, so he'll just move um, up there. Yeah, stay there anyway. Yeah, thanks, Steve. Alright. Um, okay, so division mm, activations. I can move this AA gun. Um, half track, M10. Uh, do I want to? German, no, Germans are moving around the north here. Um, I think I'd like to get this mortar a little closer. So they're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Still out of range of anything. Um, can't shoot. They have an anti... Oh, they could actually opportunity fire as these guys move. Well, I missed that. That's my mistake for not noticing. Um, keep an eye on that. I didn't realise. 
I set it up and uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's me watching. Um, so these guys, they must be must be in column because they're in wooded terrain. Um, and I think oh, they're in a really awkward position here. What did I do with the ADC, Allied Direct Command? I don't think I did anything with it. I decided not to spend any command points. It's just over here. Yeah, I don't want to keep this gun right here. They've got a good range, um, two step, direct HE is pretty powerful. Um, I don't want to leave them in, the, in column in the woods either. Um, I could pull them back to Bokholz, or I could move around to the north here and try and pick off these. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Um, okay, so how can I get there? One, that's one, two, this is a secondary road, so one, two, and then th three. Um, Four, five for the slope, six, seven, um, eight, nine for the slope. Is that a good place to be? Um, there's no sort of, they can still see across that slope, they've got good lines of sight to the north. I don't think I'll, I'll park them right there. Um, yeah, all passed on the ADC chip. Okay, um, now I'm going to spend a command point to fire with these guys. This, this uh, direct HE is, is too good to pass up. Unit in column right in front of them. Um, so I've spent that company bonus, four or less. They get it. They're firing at six at this unit here. Um, it is six. Minus one for range because it's not adjacent, but it's not the yeah minus one. So six minus one is five. This could go well if they roll. Just a five would be nice. Seven, of course. Um, okay. Well, I've got to keep reminding myself what the activation chip is. Um, when I play on the board, I can kind of place the chip right in front of me. All right, these guys are okay. They're okay. I'll sit right there. I don't really want to get anyone else out of their improved positions right now. Okay, I've got some organic artillery, and they can uh, they can use this. No, it has to be actually they'll use these guys up here from their formation to spot these guys. So they are a single step organic, firing at at least four hexes. So one, two, three, four. They can fire indirect fire beyond this line here. I'm going to target this unit. Uh, basically, hitting on a three. They are. Minus one, uh, so down to two, plus two for being in column, is four, Oops. yeah, in the open. Um, yeah, you pay movement points for the slope, it's plus one um, for tracked units in column. Um, tracked units and wheeled units can't cross a... Oh. Can't cross a slope. Wooden track must be called along a road. My mistake. They have to follow a road. So they can't actually go. They'll park there. They can't cross a slope unless they're on a road. I just missed that. They can park there and. Oh, actually, I forgot that they're still in column. Um, in fact, they fall out of column. Stuff the minus one anyway. Um, yeah, wheeled and tracked units cannot cross a slope unless they're using a road. So this indirect artillery, where was I? Um, it was uh, three minus one plus two is I think two or less targeting these guys. No, that's a miss. But a light barrage. Yeah, I um. I I really like the idea of crests and ridges. Um, I think it really simplifies uh, line of sight rules 
uh, once he grasps that, yeah, you can't cross two slopes, uh, two crests, it's really nice. The slopes kind of complicate things a little more. It makes it look more like a valley you can see around here. Um, but it follows the, the, the bulk of the rules are the same. Um, but you need to keep in mind that there is an upslope and a downslope. And defenders defending upslope get a minus one armor rating modifier. Uh, so it kind of, yeah, it just it creates elevation change now. Uh, it's the same in Operation Mercury as well. Uh, fortunately, in Oper Operation Mercury, a lot of the well, a lot of the, most of the fighting, most of the important fighting, is happening down on the coast, <laughs> around the airfield and so forth, in the cities. All right, so fire with that organic artillery. Um, yeah, I think the, the uh, Americans aren't doing a lot right now. They're just keeping watch. That's their division activation ship done. Next, we get to the German direct command. Um, hmm. Look, there's not a lot that I want to spend command points on right now. There's nothing, nothing critical that uh, I need to get. Um, yeah, look. <laughs> hey, Stephen. Um, yeah, I'm really liking race. I want to thank Joe Shikon for giving me this preview material. So this is all. Um, he sent me through the draft rulebook scenario files, um, terrain effects chart, combat results table and so forth. Um, and yeah, I've been playing through, what have I done? I've done one, two, three, four of the scenarios. Um, uh, played a bit of the campaign game. I have not finished it, but um, yeah, just getting a sense for the map. Uh, I did an overview of it a couple of weeks ago where I said it's very it's a very manageable game because this is basically you've got this is all taking place on the east map um, so you can see I'm almost at the this is the top of the map up here this is the Ur River this is Dustburg um, and yeah it, it focuses on that 27th um, Panzer Corps drive towards Bastogne now Bastogne is on the, the west map which is same size map and um, just over to the left side here the two maps go side by side, and it's it's great if you you can kind of play this on a, on a typical size um, computer desk. Um, you know, when so many people have problems with the big GTS titles like Where Eagles Dare and um, Devil's Cauldron, this is really making it more manageable. Um, yeah, two was it 22 by 34 inch maps, plus it's a, an additional map of Viltz down here to represent the fighting down there. And it's just focused on this east-west drive. So this is as high as the map gets, pretty much. Um, 22 inches high. Um, yeah, so certainly certainly uh, an access, and probably a more accessible GS title compared to some of the other ones. Um, with the exception of no question of surrender, which is just the one map. Um, okay, so... German Direct Command. Yeah, I don't think I want to spend any command points, so I'm going to pass with all of those. 26 Volksgrenadier Division. Um, okay, let's do their division roles first. So, command points. 2 plus 4 is 6, that means up to 10. Uh, dispatch points. 3 is not higher than the dispatch rating, it's not higher than what they have, so that stays the same. Um, now what do I want to do with these guys? I kind of just want to keep pressure on the American infantry. Um, I feel like I stuffed up by misreading that as their division activation. But we've got all the other guys to, to do stuff with, and they're going to try and drive in behind. Actually, what I want to do, okay, spend a command point. This mortar unit here is passing as its first action, spending that command point for its second action to target this rear guard. There's a decent chance they can cause a cohesion hit. Um, well, a decent chance is a small chance, but it's one way to get rid of it without sort of having to hassle too much. So they need three minus one is two or less. No. Uh, just a light barrage mark on these guys. So these, this rear guard here is going to 
well, it's, it's, they're not going to do much, to be honest. Um, I'd just like to not have them, well, hanging out back here close to my main route. What's going to happen is the 26 volts going to here. Once the bridge opens, it's going to cross this bridge here, swing around this secondary road, and follow this along here. Um, they need to have this road, or a road, cleared, but easier if they have this one cleared. There's a possible route across here if there's sort of some traffic jams. Um, there's also this roadblock, and I've placed these engineers here specifically to deal with this roadblock. Now look what I'm going to do here. I've got a plan for these guys. They're in column. They're going one, two, three, four. They're going to force march. They need to pass a trip quality check. I can spend a command point to have them automatically pass that because this is important. Actually, it's not that important, but um, I want it to happen. And <laughs> they're going to go in there. Um, this is a clear terrain. They've crossed a slope, so it's plus one, plus one is two. Uh, so they force march their way onto that roadblock and they will clear it in a subsequent action. Um, Fire the artillery parks contacts for damaging. Sorry, Steve, I don't know what you mean there. Fire the art parks contacts for damaging fire. Oh, on the rear guard, are you referring to? Yes, excellent idea. Thank you. I think that's what you mean. <laughs> um, so, who can spot? This is the second and third I have attached, which is these guys on the right. I've separated them. So, this is, um, this is 77 up the top. And this is 39 down the bottom. All right, so spend two. I'll spend one command point first to have this artillery, two R26, line of sight from Fusiliers, target these guys. Company bonus is successful, so six or less in a town. So that's minus one actually. So that's five, four for the improved position. I missed that earlier. It's a six, um, but that is now a light, bar a heavy barrage marker. Yeah, it was six. Um, so I guess I'll spend a command point to have the other artillery fire, these guys. Needing three or less for their company bonus. Failing. Now needing two or less. Same modifiers. Miss again. Alright. Um, we'll just have to wait for a subsequent turn. The I can keep the mortars here and they can keep line of sight. So I'll have at least three indirect fire units. Just They just need, this is a zero step unit by the way. It just needs a cohesion to be eliminated. Uh, a suppression is not good enough. They become they become suppressed. They become suppressed. They can recover. Cohesion hits just clear them off the board. So they, yeah, you can often easily target them with artillery. Unfortunately, they're in a village, which gives them a minus one modifier, and they're in an improved position, which is another minus one modifier. Um, now I can move the rest, rest of my units. So I've got these guys in column. Um, I might join the road one. Two, three, four, and four out of column. Five. These guys are in column. One, two, three, four. Column. One, two, three, four, and column. One, two, three, four. These guys. One, two, three, four, and more to here. Yeah, we'll bring them up as well. One, two, three, four. End of. Uh, so, question about the past. A the infantry unit with the cohesion it could have rallied since night. Um, yeah, actually you're right, um, I, I look, I'm not going to, um, if I make mistakes like that, I'll just, um, I'm not going to go back and undo it, um, yeah, it's often the case when playing that I miss things like that, I forget to rally, but I think that happens in a two-play game, I mean, you, you're playing, you forget to rally, um, I like to punish myself for those kind of silly mistakes <laughs> by not letting myself go back, if I've made something silly like I forget forgot to bring reinforcements and I'll do it, but something like rallying or forgot to move this unit, um, unless it's super critical or, yeah, I, I won't go back. 
Um, yeah, ah, oh, yeah, this as well. That's why it's have Um So I think, oh, am I done with the division activation? I could move these guys as well. May as well move them up a bit. Um, my side at night is three hexes. It's a night turn. Need to keep that in mind as well. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, so they, they'll be able to see now. So this is why I brought these AA guns up. It's going to slow the Ameri the uh, the Germans down. They can no longer move here with their division activation. Um, mm, already <laughs> slowing things down. Um, not a great first turn. Not a model first turn. Not the best tactics. Um, uh, normally I play without an audience, so I don't. <laughs> I'm uh, kind of being mindful to explain what I'm doing, and I'm not paying attention to these little things. Look, I'm going to move these guys up. One, two, and then they'll go one, two, three. They're okay. Again, just getting a bit closer. They could even go a step further if they want, and I might split this infantry up so they'll go up there. So I can move this mortar into here. Uh, I am just a bit worried having four units, four steps stacked together so close to this direct HE ranged gun. Could be dangerous. Um, and what the heck, I'll move these guys up one, one, two. And what the heck, I'll move these guys up one, two, three. Again, my thinking here, oh, probably about, yeah. Look, I might, I don't know what I'm, I'm, I'm sending these guys to the north flank of Horsingen. And I'll send Fusilier uh, Regiment 39 to the southern flank. Alright. Not, not the best tactics, but... Yeah, it'll um, it'll go up online, Stephen. Um, as soon as it's finished recording, it'll just be up as like a reg regular video. Um, you may have to click... I think with the videos, it may separate them to live and uploads. So you may have to click on the live button, I think. An event. Okay. Now... Race for Bastogne has uh, some special rules when it comes to events. First of all, you check, I did have the rulebook open on the right page, you check to determine if there are any historic, historical events that happened on that game turn. So we're currently in the night turn on the 15th of December. Nothing happened. No, there are no historical events uh, linked to this time. So then we roll a die to determine it's a one. Um, well, this is a bit uneventful. Oh, no, it's not, sorry. Zero is uneventful. A one is American stay behind observation post. Select a division. Obviously, it's the 28th Infantry Division. Uh, place an American observation post uh, within six hexes of an American unit. It is automatically considered in the command range of a leader, and it may spot for indirect fire attacks as a normal ground unit. Remove the American OP the next time the event is drawn. Um, this has the potential to be very helpful. At present, they've pretty much got good lines of sight. Um, complicating this further is I've never looked at the OP marker. So I don't know what it looks like. Here it is, 28th Infantry Division Observation Post. Alright, so this can spot for my off-map artillery again, just to show you what I've got here. I've got Artillery Park A, Artillery Park B, and I'd better show you where these are, because one of them miles away. So actually Park B is down in Bilts and um, I'll show you their range because I don't know what they're going to do down here. Show range. Yeah. So they, they can, they may be able to fire, the the, the, uh, fire on the Germans as they get very close to the river but um, hopefully they're hoping not any time soon. The other artillery park is artillery park A and it's just here, so it's very, oh, crikey, it's really close to the front lines. Um, with a minimum, I think I have to leave that artillery park and get the heck out of there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the observation post is, um, I mean, they, all these units can be seen in daytime from here. This AA gun can now spot all these units. Um... Yes, oh, would be a good place to put them. <laughs> Is that legal? 
Select a division, place within six hexes of an American unit. That's within six hexes. It's considered in the command range. and may spot um, or a German unit enters the hex. Okay, so I kind of be a bit sneaky and say, hey, come get me. Um, but to be thematic, let's put it there. They can spot all these units now out in the open. Yeah, pretty unobscured line of sight, all those 39 fusiliers. Alright, so that is the event for that turn. Oh, actually, technically that was the last event. That's, uh, okay. Um, that shouldn't happen until it, it'll be the first chip drawn on the next turn. This scenario, um, in the greatest day, a lot of the scenarios say play out all the chips, don't worry about the rule when you leave one in the cup. This one specifically says leave one in the cup. So um, that event will happen first on the next turn. Alright, so we've gone through one turn. Um, again, if you've got any questions, post a comment, happy to help out. Um, so, we, um, we're pretty much at the end of that, um, the first turn, remove all barrage markers, this little button will do it all for us, boom, um, move the turn record track up one box. So we are now 7am turn on the 16th of December, and I have all the reinforcements laid out for this turn. Um, <coughs> This is when the big, um, the 1500 turn is when the, these bulk of reinforcements are arriving. By this stage though, the Germans um, are really pushing to cross that river. Um, I mentioned in my um, summary video the victory conditions, but basically um, they to win, they need to cross the river by 0900 on the 17th of December. So they've got 26 hours from now, which is... Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 six, seven daylight turns and one night turn to get that done. And I'm going to be way too slow here, I know. I know already um, that I've made some mistakes. Alright. But, we're not giving up. We're on to, we're heading to uh, Antwerp, if you haven't heard. Um, okay. Turn record track has been moved up. Um, optional weather, uh, sorry, we determine the weather. Now, this is where I need to be mindful. Fog. It's the 16th of December, 0700, fog. Minus one fire rating, minus one assault rating, maximum line of sight, two hexes. Okay. And all movement costs are plus one. reinforcements there are none for this turn nor the next turn then we can buy dispatch points um, you know I might I might just spend two command points to buy one um, uh, and that'll do just to try to improve my chances of increasing my dispatch points. I might even buy two more to buy another one. This means that I've now got a 50% chance of increasing my dispatch points off the die roll and about 25% chance of increasing it based on my uh, uh, dispatch rating of two. Yeah. 26. They are going to spend one, two, um, and then they're going to yep, do that. Second Panzer. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, yeah. Now I'm going to buy some. Dis uh, spend some dispatch points. These guys aren't going to spend any dispatch points. They don't really want any formation activations right now. Happy with the division activations that's they've been doing. Um, I have purchased the 39th and Comfort of Cochrane. I would like to purchase 77 again. So I'm getting two uh, dispatch points to put them back in the cup again this turn. Um, I don't need to worry about the second. 
Um, again, what I'm thinking here is build up their chance of increasing the dispatch points for future turns. I'm investing in my future dispatch, basically, by, by doing this. This is just what I like to do early in the scenario. Um, so I purchased all these. Okay. And now I can put all the chips back in the cup, the event being the first one drawn. Um, <laughs> perform the activation phase. So for first turn, put it, place the blank on number six. Um, that's why it's good to use a blank mark. Yeah, just before you fill the cup to mark the use track. Yeah, good point. I should have counted them 20 seconds ago <laughs> before I put them all in. All right, so the event is drawn. I know I've already rolled for it. It's this observation post. It now has a life side of two. I'm remembering the weather and we're done for that event. Next chit is second panzer division. Good. They will roll for command. Excellent. Four plus five is nine. Dispatch. Ah, they get three. Look at that. One, two, three. They're all set. They'll be rolling into Antwerp by tomorrow afternoon. Now, they can do stuff. They can do lots of stuff. Engineers. Okay. Minefield here. How do you remove a minefield? You get a two-step engineer starting their turn for their first action on a division, on a division activation. Um, they just remove the minefield. They don't have to um, roll for it. Uh, if they're two-step, they just clear it. Hooray! It's gone. Wait. Yep, that's all good. Yep, all good. <laughs> okay. Now, I want to start clearing these Americans out of Marnock here. So, let's get close. Um, let's soften them up with some 2nd Panzer Division artillery. And I'm going to spend two command points to fire with both of these pieces one at a time. And again, technically you should do this one at a time, just while I've got this screen open I'll spend two points, I know what I'm going to do. These guys first, let's um, find our target, here they are. I'm going to target the rear guard first, try and get those guns out of the way. Um, company bonus of four or less needed, yes, so they are firing at seven or more, so there'll be a heavy barrage, unless they roll a nine, seven, so seven but. They are in a village, which is a minus one modifier, and an IP, which is a minus one, so it's down to five. So that's a miss, but a heavy barrage is going to be nice. Uh, reducing their chance for opportunity. Well, yeah, they're blind. They're one line of sight now. Um, oh, and of course, it is fog. And let's not forget the weather. Minus one fire rating, so that was actually down to four. And they could be spotted by these guys. Yep. Next guys, these guys, four, company bonus, four or less, no, now it's four minus three, one for fog, one for the IP, one for the village, one or less, no. alright, this is, this is tough, it's tough for the Germans, okay, um, look, I want to, um, I should mention as well, um, I'll, I'll uh, get these guys out of column, uh, they, they're going to pass their first action, and I'm going to spend some command to get them in close, one. Actually, going to go one, two, three, four. Now I should mention. Um, I'll remove the move marker. This little black dot. This is designated the uh, Second Panzer Division Assault Force. They've crossed the Ur River, and they have left behind their organic transport. Uh, and to designate, designate this, you use these extra counters that come with the game to show that they don't have their transport with them. Once you clear a path across the Dasberg Bridge, once this is open, they can bring their transports on and you replace these counters with uh, these other counters that I conveniently placed down here. Here they are. So these are the equivalent units with their transport. You can see their, their motorised um, infantry. 
Right, so they, they are on the move. Um, these guys, one. That was not a. That was not. They didn't spend a command point. That infantry removes the second action and paid CP. Yeah, I did now. Sorry, Steve. I caught it. I, I um. Yeah, caught it just a moment ago. Um. Oh, you know what I've been forgetting? My guns. These guys. Um. They are part of the division. They are handed Canada's foot. They are drawn by horse and cart. Um. Again, okay, my mistake for forgetting them. Um, look, I think I'm done with the second Panzer Division. So they will move to a friendly unit. Um, and we're done with that second Panzer Division activation. Alright, next activation 28th Infantry Division. They will roll for command. So 2 plus a command rating of 5 is 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They roll for dispatch. They need a low number. That's not going to help them. Um, so they, it's, it's the eight is higher than four, and it's higher than their dispatch rating. So they get nothing for that. If they roll a nine, they lose one. Um, okay. What do we got? What do we got? Um, these guys, I think, would like to rally. They're not in the firing range of any enemies, so. And they're in command, so that should be automatic. Yes, it's a daylight turn, but um, yeah, not in the firing zone. Let's say first action. They're then going to spend a command point to take a second action to try again to fire at these guys. Four or less. Oh, I, you know what? Forget the fog. These guys all moved. Look, I keep forgetting the weather. <laughs> it's just, it's crazy. Um, plus one movement point per space. I can't undo that, but um, God, remember the weather. Remember the weather. Okay, four or less company bonus. No, they are on four minus one for the fog is three, two for range. They miss anyway. Okay. Um, these guys have a purple fire rating, so they can fire as part of their division. Activation. Company bonus, five or less. Yes, they're targeting this infantry out in the open. Actually, there's two here, they'll fire, start firing these guys. Targeting this unit here. So it's now six or less. They are in the forest, so it'll be minus two, so down to four. Plus, actually, they will they will fire on these guys. Um, so six in the open, no defensive modifier. Yeah, six or less. A zero is on a purple... Um, light mortars is a cohesion hit. Alright, do we have any other... I think these guys have a purple fire rating as well. They do have a heavy barrage on them, so company bonus is going to be minus... Yeah, minus two, they need a three or less. They get it. Um, what have we got here? We have four steps in the open. A nice squishy target. Um, so we've got six, minus one, targeting the top unit, plus one for mass because there are four steps, so it's back up to six or less. And a three light mortar is a possible suppression. Um, oh look, I don't want to, I don't, don't want to risk it at this stage. Got to push, got to keep pushing. They've got the command for now. We'll automatically pass it. 
Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Steve thinks the fog just happened. It's just rolling in. <laughs> it takes a while to build up. Uh, now, now they can't see very far. Now, now it costs them more to move. Um, what else? Okay, we've got a mortar over here. I could spend a not with the 101st Airborne with these guys. Command point to fire with the mortar. Spotted from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Going to target again this big hex. It's three. Um, targeting this unit. Minus one, plus one. So, th yeah, three. Uh, minus one because it's fog is two or less. It's a miss. But there is a light barrage marker over the top there, which could impede them in their formation activation. So that could be, yeah, it could be handy. Um, yeah, oh, and I'm gonna getting artillery here. Look, I may as well because um, the Americans need to use what they have. Um, I'm target oh, look I have an observation post here <laughs> which is very handy and I'm going to use these observation posts to spot these guys now of course they could be spotted from Hosingen down here but I like the idea that this secret little observation post has been spying on the Germans in command mortars no thanks Steve uh, not in command mortars, so to spend that command point they have to be in command. I always take that for advantage because most of the time my formations are in command. These guys are out of command so they can't do that fire. The light barrage doesn't happen. Thank you for watching. Um, so in that case I will spend my organic artillery here. They are on 3, minus 1 is 2, minus 1 for the fog is 1 or less. Yeah, it's a miss. But again, we now have a light barrage. Far not, yeah it is, yep, thanks. Sorry, it takes about 40 seconds for the comments to, to come up. Um, so forgive me if I'm slow in replying. Alright, that's about all I'm doing. Um, no, wait a minute, I do have this powerful map, off map artillery. Um, and I will spend two command points to fire, because I want to use what I have again. Um, and now one of them can't reach, uh, but uh, surely park A can. So these guys will target this hex here, in particular that unit on top in column. What are they doing in such a densely packed hex? How did I do that? Okay, Germans are making a lot of mistakes. So through four or less for company bonus. They get it. They're firing at five, four for the fog, up to six because they're in column. A one isn't Great, but I'll take it. It's a uh, possible suppression. Um, problem is, if I take that hit, um, uh, what do I do? What do I do? Um, my my concern is for the rest. There's going to be light barrage marker placed over um, the top of this but I'm also worried about um, the um, you know, all units stacked in the same hex as a unit that suffer yeah so I'm, I'm going to pass it because I don't want <laughs> all those other units so I'm going to spend a, another command point Done with the 28th infantry division. They're done. Next counter is 77. Come on, these guys have to do some damage now. All right, let's start by softening up these targets. Um, uh, got to start. Got to start. Um, no, I think we, I think we need to focus on one at a time. So mortar first. They're all going to target. I think we need to target this infantry out in the open until we wear them down. Uh, oh yeah, thanks. Barrage. Thanks, Steve. Um, target this infantry out in the open with this mortar. Four, down to two, down to one for the fog. He's 
one or less. No, just a barrage marker. Um, and this is a again formation activation, so they can do this. They can fire on their first action for free. Um, this mortar firing in exactly the same way. Three minus three is ending zero to hit. No, this mortar just going to keep trying this. Uh, actually, you know what? Going to fire on this AA to prevent them from firing. Um, three minus one for the fog. And they're out in the open. So that's uh, yeah, two or less. No, but they are now barraged and blinded. Ah, now let's give the infantry a go. Okay, so we've got these guys here um, again attacking the infantry. Five or less for the company bonus is a pass. So they are on six. Five for the fog. Four, three on an armoured unit is a miss. Same for the other, the other infantry, five or less. They fail. So they're on one or less. Two. And I'll double check that. They failed their company check. Four, three for fog. Two, one. Yep, they fail. Um, all right. Uh, Um, I think we just have to start putting, just, as I say, fishing for zeros. Um, one, two, because it's fog, and one, two, because it's fog. Um, actually, I'll move the pioneers down to there, so I'm not overstacking too much, and then, look, um, one, two, Three for the fog. And I'm going to try and f oh, force march them, I guess. This is the result of my early mistakes. Uh, yeah, they pass, so they will force march down to here. Four, five, six. Um, I think I can do that with a force march. I tend not to force march too often. Um, so I'm not overly familiar. Can you use a force march to. So, okay, so two extra. If the unit fails to check, yeah. Look, stop me. Let me know if I've done something wrong there. And these guys, jeez. Lightly armored. I could try and take them on with my small arms fire. Yeah, I'm just kind of getting a bit desperate to clear out housing and I, I um, the fog and that minus one, um, the additional minus one fire rating means that my engineers, uh, the, the American engineers here are at what, negative four and they're armoured in this little town. Um, they're hard, they're going to be tough to clear out, I'm worried about that. Um, right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move these guys. One, two... Actually, I'm going to move into the, the forest. One, two, three, and then add a column four. Um, look, if the AA gun wants to fire at them now, they have a minus two, minus one for the fog. It's really hard to get any damage done in this fog. And I think we're done for these guys. Ah, let's um, let's bring their guns up. Uh, let's put them in column. One, two. Oh wait, these are these are foot units, so two. Three and a half. Uh, they have to spend half their movement points to cross the river, the ferry. They can't do so, so they have to sit there. Alright, next activation chip is German Direct Command. And again, I'm burning through a lot of command points. I don't think there's anything I really want to do. There's nothing kind of, there's no units out in the open exposed. Um, yeah, no really vulnerable targets, quite the opposite, in fact. I feel like I'd just be wasting more command points. So, passing everything with my direct command. I could do some artillery fire. Um, <coughs> but uh, I do have one good gun. Oh, but then I've only got one command point left on these guys, and I want to save that for emergencies. <laughs> so, passing with everything. Um, yeah, 
still keeps shit's left. 26, here we go. Now they get some command. Rolling for command. 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Rolling for dispatch. Oh no, sorry. Uh, 6. 2 plus 4. Dispatch is 2. Rolling for dispatch. 6. That's not going to give them anything. Hmm. <coughs> And I think I, I don't think I want to do too much because now I really need to conserve my command points. Um, apart from moving, of course. And I'll start with these guys behind the line. So they're going to spend half their movement points. One, two, and then three, four. These guys um, shouldn't be in column. So I'll place them in column for one, two, three, and a half. These guys, one, two, three, they have to stop there. Alright, what else have we got? Hmm. We have our engineers here. Um, they can't be in column, so get them out of column. You can't, I don't think you can remove a roadblock whilst in column. Most engineering actions require the engineers to not be in column. I should have dis. Uh, uh, added occasion to get them out of column, which I normally do. Just checking if roadblocks. Uh, how do you remember engine not in column? Yep. Uh, that was this again. Silly mistake. <coughs> um, all right, the rest of these units can move. They'll stay there. Um, I think they'll try and get closer to what's going on. They should be with a leader. Um, all these guys are so close. I'd like to get these guys from out from under the barrage marker. Um, Keep moving. Uh, yeah. One. Mm. Actually, we'll go. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. A half. Oh, so I'm worried about these slopes as well. I'm trying to get basically units up to. Um, Holes, but it's going to cost me command to get them adjacent. So I'm trying to set them up such that, like, I'd like to move this infantry up here. Uh, it's one and a half to move there because of the fog. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, all movement costs are plus one. So is that one and a half because of the road? Is it? So I'm not sure if it's um, if this fog makes it sort of one and a half. You know, half a movement point per row. What does that make it? One and a half, three. Do they have to stop there? Um, let me check. I'm sure the rules clarify this. Um, the movement cost to enter a hex is increased by one. Um, yeah, I think that might be. I think I may be over moving. Yeah. Again, correct me if I'm wrong here, but yeah, I think it's going to be really expensive for any units to move anyway. Um, which means these guys are going to get out of column and then go one, two, three, four. Set themselves up to attack here. Um, these guys in column are going to go one, two, three, four, five. They can't even get it. Yeah, well, minimum one, I guess. Um, I'll go join them. One, two, three, four. F ah, crikey. This, this, um, yeah, fog is brutal. It's throwing up so many uncertainties. It's really kind of targeting the, my weak spots in the rules. Um, like minimum movement. I don't think I've 
ever had to deal with minimum movement allowance before. I think a unit can move a minimum of one space. I've never had to. I've never had a unit not be able to move. So they're under a light barrage, which is plus two movement points to leave, um, and then two to get into the woods, and then plus one because of the fog is five. They have five, so they'll go there. And those guys will stay in the fog. These guys will get out of column. Um, yeah, but what, what I want to do is clear hosing them before these reinforcements come in. In fact, what I'm going to do. I'm not going to spend command point. Uh. <laughs> Alright, I'll move the... Um, no, the mortar set need to move up. I'll stay there. Here is it's a great example of how not to commence an offensive as the Germans. Um, okay, so I'm done with all those guys. 26 Panzer. That Volksgrenadier is, is done. Next activation. Can't flip Let's hope these guys can get something. Come on, Assault Force. What are you going to do? Um, let's bring our engineers up first, we'll get them in column. One. <laughs> one, one and a half, plus one is two and a half. Four? I think. Um, with formation chip, add attachments before any action is done. Add attachments before. I'm not sure what I mean by attachment, sorry. Do you mean like up to my activation rating of my leader? Um, so I will again try and target this regard with my artillery. Um, third and second again from here. These guys first, again targeting this unit which is already under heavy, heavy barrage, trying to eliminate this rear guard, just needs a cohesion hit. Um, company bonus, fails, they are five, four for fog, three for that, two because they're in a village, two or less, oh, fail again. This is big artillery that's missing here. Um, these guys, four or less, fail, they are needing one or less to hit, fail. Oh yeah, um, this um, vassal module isn't as developed as the greatest day one. There's a lot of the automation has been hasn't hasn't been sort of uh, implemented yet to take into account the specific terrain effects yet. Um, so yeah, that's why I can't sort of attack do the attack action. Uh, you can't I can't activate formations things like that. Um, but I'm keeping track of it. So one, two, three. Uh, I will also. Where are those guns? <sighs> They're blocked, so they can't go across. Well, that's part of the different division anyway. Um, back up to here. So the artillery had no effect. Infantry now. I've got three units to attack. In fact, I'll bring the engineers down as their movement, so they they may as well spend a command point to attack. So they've moved for one, their first action. Second action is they're in command. They will attack the rear guard. Company bonus, five or less. Yes. So they are six, minus one, minus two for fog, minus three for the village is three or less. God, nothing is hitting. All right, these guys. Five or less. Come on. Yes. Same again. Negative three. Three or less. No. <laughs> These guys. Five or less. No. So negative three, they need one or less. No. This is... Um, yeah, not going well for the Germans. That is, that is their entire um, formation activation. Allied direct command. They aren't doing anything. Oh yes, so it may as well fire with this artillery. Organic artillery, off map artillery. I've got the command up my sleeve. Um, uh, artillery park A here. He's gonna fire. Spending a command point. No, I can't, sorry. It is an independent unit. 
Um, but the organic artillery is not. Cannon here will fire, spinning a command point. Um, and they will fire on. Yeah, these Germans out in the open. 33, minus 1 for fog. Oh, minus 2. Um, 1 or less. Yeah, 9. Which does nothing. I thought I'd give it a go. You never know. Alright. Uh, that's all. I'm not going to waste any more command. Alright, Fusilier Regiment 39, way down the bottom here. Their formation activation. Uh, they have got two off map artillery pieces. They have an attached engineer uh, out of range. Um, yeah. And they've got, of course, these guys here. So a half, one and a half, three. They'll stop there. Off-map artillery firing on the uh, the infantry here. It's uh, it is two and three. So these two on the right here. First one. Again, they're both going to focus on that infantry in the south. Needing three or less company bonus. No. Four, three for fog. Um, <laughs> minus two for the entrenchment. Is it's negative three, so it's one or less. Hey, it's an armored unit though, so it's just a cohesion hit. But well, two more cohesion hits and that unit's eliminated. All right, next unit, three or less. No, needing a one or less. No, okay. Now we'll um, uh, try with our mortars, I guess. Yep, we'll do this one first. Three or less? Nope. Um, these guys are going to try and fire on this rear guard. Three or less. Minus one for the fog. Minus one for the town is one or less. Nope. Um, got this one here. It has a range of six. I could try and target the. Uh, rear guard, but it's, it's the least of my concerns right now. Uh, so I'm going to try and focus on the infantry again. Four, minus two, minus one for fog is one or less. No. This dice is rigged, I promise you. Um, Alright, let's get the uh, let's get the infantry in closer. They're moving in there. They will not spend a command point to do a second action. They'll move in there. They won't either. They'll move in there. I'm even there. Uh, these guys. When does the fog lift? Um, fog, fog. I've got two turns of fog. Um, I think that was crossover. Should they get in column? Is it worth? Is it even worth it? One, two, three. Uh, that's as far as I can go. If they get in column and try and march. So that was crossover there. And these guys will um, just advance and may as well. Oh, yeah, these are mortars. So, plus one, minus one. It'd be negative two. Yeah, let's try and spend a command point to have a shot at these mortars. Second action here, they are one, two, three, four, five, six in range. Um, company bonus, five or less. Yes, they are now six. Minus one. I think net minus one. Minus two, sorry. Minus one for fog, minus one for the IP, minus one for the village, plus one is minus two. So they're back down to four or less to hit. Yes. And that is small arms fire on an unarmored target, which causes a cohesion hit. Alright, so some of these guys are bypassing Hosingen. Ultimately, I do want it cleared. I need that road cleared um, because armored units are going to suffer opportunity fires they move around, or any reinforced units um, uh, motorized moving around here are going to suffer opportunity fire from that unit. Uh, I'd like to minimize that if possible. That's, again, well, it's part of the objective as well. I have to have a clear road from the bridge, so this has to be clear for the Germans to win this scenario. All right, that is, I believe, end of that formation activation. 
Um, I mean, you're green units, but maybe you did action them. Yeah, I do go fast. <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh, crikey. So this is the problem. <coughs> that should have been the last activation the first of the following turn. Um, I'll fudge my way through it. Okay, so it's the end of the turn. I will clear the barrage markers. <coughs> Move the turn record track up one. The weather again is fog. This is the last fog turn of the day. And hopefully the end of my <laughs> headaches for the Germans. Alright. Um, weather is fog again. No American air power. No reinforcements yet. They more start to come on next turn. Uh, and now I can buy dispatch points. They are happy with where things are sitting. They would like to buy one, uh, two, three, do I, yeah, oh, what the heck, two, three. And I'm going to spend them all to put both of those counters back in. So I've purchased that. No, I don't need to, um, because one hasn't been drawn yet. Oh, look, oh, that's going to be the first action, um, so it's not eligible to be purchased yet. This is fudging my mistake, basically, but... Um, yeah, that's where it is. Um, these guys have a lot of dispatch points. Um, one, two, buy another one. Spend two to put their activation counter in straight away. Now, where can I? Oh, I'll do what Steve suggested and I'll place a. This will be the first one drawn. So I have five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I know not to go past there. Thanks for that tip, Steve. These now go. I've already drawn this effectively the first activation for this turn. Um, I don't think the barrage mark has really affected anything. Yeah, I could use another time marker. That means going and looking for it. <laughs> um, all right. We are now ready to perform the activation phase. We've done that first one again. Just keep in mind, this was the last chit, so it should have been the first one but I've gone through everything already. So the second chip is the Allied Direct Command. And I think I'd like to fire the Organic Artillery again. Here on that, uh, that was this one up here. I think these, these, this is a problem. Um, although, I'll, I'll activate them for that. Yeah, I'll do that. Three, minus one for fog. Minus one for that is one or less. A one. Um, now this is uh, organic artillery. Uh, firing on an unarmoured target is a possible suppression. And again, I don't want these guys to be suppressed, so I'll spend a command point. They are desperately needing to clear out Marnock. Um, and plus, yeah. Oh, it should be plus one for for mass as well, but they hit. Um, these guys, while they can see, they will fire. Um, and barrage marker. Right. They will fire, spin another command point. Firing on this. Uh, so now they're in the um, wooded terrain. can see these guys down here who are probably the bigger threat to try and clear that road. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's see, maximum extent, uh, maximum range, so it'll be minus two against an unarmored target, but let's give it a go. Uh, company bonus, four or less, yes. So there's six, five, four. Um, 
and no combat modifiers across the slope. So four or less, three or less because of the fog is a six. It's no effect. Um, and I think they're done. That's the end of the Allied Direct Command. An event. Okay, let's check the rules, see if there are any events taking place at the 0900 turn on the 16th of June, December. It's not June. I'm not playing the greatest day. <laughs> um, okay, nothing's happening, so we roll the dice. Seven. Okay, a roll of seven uh, gives us American intelligence. The American player can add two command points in one. That's just handy. I mean, they don't. They don't. They're not using a lot of dispatch or command, really. Um, yeah, but every little bit helps. That's the event. German direct command. Ah, again, there is nothing that they are desperate. Disband the artillery park and run before they're overrun. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll do that in a moment with the division activation chip. Um, I don't think the Germans want to do anything desperately either. They're about to get their division activations, some formation activations. Um. I think I'll just wait and see. So I'm passing all their eight, uh, direct commands. Right, eight, the 28th Infantry Division activation. Um, and again, I can do a couple, spend a couple of command points to fire with uh, those units again. I'm just. Um, I mean, I, I do have a nice little stack of command points. Um, oh, there's more to here. Being attacked. Um, I think I made a mistake when I moved this unit up. I don't think they're allowed to cross through. I think I crossed a slope here, which I shouldn't have been allowed to do, but they're, they're there anyway now, so I'll, I'll leave with a mistake. Um, there's not much behind that mortar. This is probably why that, that unit was here, because um, they needed there. They will... Um, yeah, I'll move down, and I'll spend a command point to fire on this unit. Oh wait, there's a slope there, so they can't cross. That doesn't block line of sight, sorry. Um, if it was a crest, it would bl block line of sight. It's a slope, which is... Mm, yes, it is blocking terrain. So they can see if they're there, because it doesn't cross the slope uh, hex side, but they can't see if they're there because that line of sight runs directly along the slope hex site, which is blocking terrain. Um, so they'll sit there and they will fire. Can we bonus four or less? Yep. Now needing uh, six, five, four, three because of fog. Okay. Mm. Ah, division activation. So these guys, purple mortars can fire, light mortars can fire for free. They'll target the already weak German unit here. Company bonus, five or less. Nope. Four. Just three for fog. Nope. They're not even a light bar. Ah, uh, yeah. There's no barrage markers from light mortars, of course. Um, up here, five or less firing on this dense unit here. Nope. Four, three, two for fog, two or less. Nope. Wow, look at that. Look at these. Look, nine, six, nine, eight, nine. Um, the German player is saying, well, you know, what goes around comes around. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'm 
worried about... I mean, <laughs> the Germans are moving very slowly. Uh, they've got a lot to do in Horsingen, but I'm worried about... Um, what's this? Bokholz, of course. Okay. I don't think there's much else the Americans can... Oh, they can move their mortars down, of course. Um, oh, how much is this going to cost? One, two... So they may as well get into a column. One, two for the fog, three, four for the fog. Don't get too close to the Germans. Um, they won't fire though. These guys will stay in their improved positions and I'm done with that division activation. Did I do rolls for these guys? I don't think I did. Command points. One plus five is six. Dispatch points. Five gives them one. Thank you. Um, yeah, done. Grenadier Regiment 77. Alright, I like these formation chips. It's always kind of something's going to happen. Um, Alright, let's start off and. Listen, uh, uh, Barra. I want to focus on this infantry there, they're kind of looking weak. Four or less on the infantry, minus three is one or less. No. This one, zero. Yes! It's a cohesion hit. We have our first American step loss. Alright. Mortars always. It's, uh, it's, 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 mortars always do the damage um, for me. Three or less. Now they're going to target this AA gun. Um, three minus one for fog is two or less. No, nope. but I like barrage marker, and I haven't forgotten the other one. I'm just uh, coming back to it. All right, now we've got three infantry here in the south, which can do some damage. Um, five or less company bonus. Yes, so they're now six minus three for everything on an armored target. Nope. These guys. Five or less. Yes. They are also three or less on an armor target. No. These guys, five or less. Yes. They are also three or less on an armored target. Yes. So, uh, what's this? A small arms fire three on an armored target is a cohesion hit. Drum roll. They're gone. First, we've cleared the road. This is, um,. This is important. See, once you build, oh, that, the trench stays there. Once you build up those cohesion hits, just that, that kind of, yeah, that slow building momentum. We have kind of cleared the road. We kind of need to move through here to probably capture that trench. Make sure the engineers don't move in there, although they would really be risking it. But um, yeah, I'd like to get some troops in there. Um, off map artillery. I should have done this first. We do have these two guys firing now on the engineers. <coughs> yeah, engineers. Three or less company bonus. Yes. So they're firing at five minus. minus five. Two for the town. Now it's an armored unit, so it's minus one. Um, uh, this is, um, yeah, so two for the trench, one for the town because they're considered an armoured unit, plus one, minus one for the fog is I think minus three. So it is five minus three is two or less, seven may miss anyway, but we do have a barrage marker. And the other artillery, the big one, four or less, come on, not. Okay, five minus three is two or less. One, that's a hit. Uh, so again, this is uh, indirect HE on an armoured unit is a possible suppression. They really don't want those units suppressed, so they're going to spend a command point to automatically pass that. Um, okay, and we still have these engineers up here. So these guys attacking the engineers. Pioneers on engineers, five or less. Five, uh, so that's... Uh, Six minus three um, is three or less. 
a one. Uh, again, possible suppression. Engineers only have a th triple of three, so I really want to spend a command point to, to pass that. But it's but that's dispatch points, not command points. Burning through some command points. They've got a lot though. Now we've got two of these guys up here, five or less. No. So looking at one or less. No. And the guys below them, five or less. Nope. Looking at one or less. Yes. That's another cohesion hit. Oh, the first cohesion hit for these engineers. And so we start this process again of building up their cohesion to just completely just disrupt and uh, clear out housing. And, and there's some, I mean, it's 0900 turn. We've got time. Okay. Um, these guys in the woods. Uh, yeah, let's move in and try and help these guys finish off the engineers. This, I should have done this earlier. I should have really focused on my effort um, rather than sort of stuffing around trying to bypass it, thinking it was easy. I underestimated the fog, um, as I always do. Then we have this guy's in combat here, and they can move basically two spaces. A half plus one is one and a half. That makes it three. Uh, and that's all. That's all I do. Um, yep. Done with those guys. Next, second Panzer Division activation. Alright, that's our officer in command. F two plus five is seven. Gives an eleven. Dispatch. Seven it gives them one. This is why I invested my dispatch points early. Um, some artillery in the area, two decent guns, two command points to fire the artillery twice in this hex, firing on the rear guard. Jeez, it'd be nice to get rid of them. Um, so two guns, first one on the left, needing four or less. Yes. Now, yeah. uh, so seven, Minus one for the fog, minus one for the IP, minus one, so that's minus three, so four or less. Come on. Yes. That is a nice result. That's going to cause um, a cohesion hit, which is going to eliminate the rear guard. Okay. So four uh, indirect HE on an unarmored target is cohesion. And because we caused uh, a result on a unit from indirect fire, these guys suffer possible suppression. Um, again, it's such an important point, I don't want to risk it. If they become suppressed, they become subject to uh, an assault. So, barrage, and that was a heavy barrage too. So yeah. What else have we got? That's about it for these guys. For now. Alright, what's going to come out next? Ah, well, that's good, I guess. They need the um, command. Alright, command roll. Three. Plus three, uh, three plus four is seven. It's up to seven. Uh, dispatch. Six is not good. So the <laughs> these guys are really pushing down south on Hosingen and have been spending a lot of their command points, whereas the second Panzer Division have been more conservative, just the one force, and you can see they're building up quite a nice uh, stockpile. Um, now I can do some things with these guys. I would like to clear this roadblock. Again, it's an engineer unit 
is the action. Get rid of it. Uh, hmm. Alright, these guys can move two spaces because it's still foggy. They can move one and a half and then half their movement to cross. And they'll move one, two. They will move one. They will spend a command. Do I really want to do it? No, I've been spending too many command points. We'll wait. Um, yeah. Um, I will start to move the mortars up. One. I'll put them in column. I think I'll just wait there. I'll wait for my formation activations um, and focus my command on that. So that is done. Okay, end of that turn. Let's clear the barrage markers. Um, yeah. I am worried about progress, but. There we go. Turn record track. We now have some German reinforcements uh, arriving and some Americans being released. I put these markers here just to remind myself, but I'll go to the, uh, the reinforcement schedule and have a look in full um, to see exactly what's happening. should come on. Okay, so 11 a.m. These three units will appear at 91.20. So most of the uh, most of the reinforcements come on at on the ferry location. Um, the no activation refers to a and B 707 tank. Oh. These guys. It's going to hurt. So they can activate. Sorry, that's the AT. This is B out here. And they can now activate. Well, there you go. That clears up my problem with um, <laughs> this, this road. Um, and the fear, my fear of the Germans breaking through. We do have some more. We've got the. Um, Quite a few uh, 78th Grenadier Regiment reinforcements coming on next turn. These guys. Um, so I need to be careful of my command. Okay, so the weather is no longer foggy. It is none. 11 a.m., 16 December, no weather. Um, place reinforcements in reinforcements box. Okay, so there are, there are boxes you'll notice um, for reinforcements. I just like to place them right. Usually, when I'm playing, I like to place them right next to where they're arriving, just off map. In this case, they arrive sort of on the map. What I could do is just place them here to show that they're going to arrive here in their division activation counter. Drawn. Um, yeah, let's uh, buy some dispatch points by one. These guys will buy one, two. Ooh, how much do we put in? Do we put them both in? Yes, we do. And now we don't have. That was a. We know this is coming out first. Um, they will buy a dispatch point, just have some more. Um, or 90% chance of increasing their dispatch points. Um, so, we are good to go. I've purchased these. We know this is the last chip in the cup. So we've got one, two, three, four, eight, nine. So we'll stop there again. Um, I think we're good to go.
comfort of cocking up top, trying to clear out those stubborn Americans. All right, uh, no fog, so some free movement. One, two, three, four. Command point to attack. That's the Panzer Leader Division. <laughs> That's the second Panzer Division. Command point to attack these mortars in col column. Yeah, I, was, I could see this coming. Um, I warned. I warned that, that mortar not to get close. All right, um, six or less. Yes, they now look at six plus one. Seven, no fog. Oh, that is a small arms fire on an unarmored target, which is a step, it's a one step unit. They're going straight to the graveyard and they're feeling pretty happy with themselves. They're telling the rest of their calm crew, this is how you get it done, guys. All right, um, these guys are all. Yep, it's a um, formation activation, so they get their. They can fire on their first activation for free. We'll start uh, with the engineers. Five or. Ooh. These guys have good assault ratings. Yep, five or less. That's not the dice roll. No. So now it's four minus three. It's one or less. Yes. It's an armoured unit. Considered an armoured unit because it's an entrenchment, so it is a. Hit. Um, these guys, five or less. Yes. Now six minus three is three or less. No. Same again, five or less. Nope. One or less. Yes. Which is a possible suppression, and again, trying to avoid suppression as much as possible. Five or less. Yes. Three or less. No. Um, they, I think these guys, I feel like they're going to need some help. Uh, they like some artillery support, which they have. <laughs> uh, yes, I wanted to disband the artillery park. I just I meant to do that. That's something. Um, thanks, Steve. Um, this is the artillery park here. Uh, simply remove the artillery park from the map. Place it back on the divisional display. Uh, return the artillery units from the park to that hex. Um, in column or not. That would like to run. Uh, yeah. That would like to go there. Thanks, Steve, for putting that up. So. It for that cup. Oop. No, the two off map artillery pieces I was going to fire. Um, okay, again, targeting the uh, the infantry four or less. No, so it is minus three, two or less. No, second gun four or less. Yes, so six minus three, three or less. Yes, um, this is uh, indirect HE, it's another possible suppression. And another command point. Look, all these, these this indirect fire, these possible suppression results are reducing 28th Infantry Division's command. Um, yeah. That's the end of Comfort of Cochin. German Direct Command. Well, you know, I'd like to blind this gun with this artillery, so I'm going to spend uh, a lot. I'll turn a command point. Fire three or less two um, mortar is a possible suppression. Um, I'll burn through it, but there's a light barrage mark on them. And that's that was the one. Could attack here, but I feel like it's going to be low odds. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll wait. That's the only German direct command that I'm doing. Fusilier Regiment 39.
down the bottom here. So there you go, this is why. Um, a lot they can do. First of all, let's try and clear out this rear guard. Three. No fog now, so just minus one, minus two, one or less. Oh, so close. So close. Um, they can use a road, but they can't. <laughs> These guys are in the way. So they can go one. These guys here. I'll move from left to right. Ah, off map artillery. Um, tough decision now. Do I use this artillery to clear? Try to clear the engineers from holes in. Let's do both. Let's one artillery piece here. This is with the um, it's the two and three. So these two guns on the right, both equal. We'll do a first one over here, needing a three or less. No, four. Mm, plus one is five, four, three or less. No, but there is a light. And then we'll do the second artillery piece with targeting the engineers over here. Uh, three or less for company bonus? Nope. Four, what was it again? I keep forgetting the odds. It's minus two, minus one, plus one, minus two now. Treated as armoured units in a town, plus one, minus one, cancel out, just minus two, so the fog helps things a little. So that's two or less. Yes. Um, again, possible suppression. Again, important location, spending a command point. Um, yeah, if, if uh, those command points are running low, oh look, I can start rolling, but troop quality is pretty low, and again, this is a pretty important area. You can. I think I don't think you can mount the art park unit. Yeah, I I, uh, I wasn't sure about that. I figured. Okay, I'll unmount them. Um, I just figured it's a whole other turn for them to mount, and I wasn't sure about that. I figured they. Anyway, I'll unmount them. The rules don't say you can mount. I kind of thought maybe the intention was that if they could go in column, why could they not mount? But anyway, let me know if. That's, I, I, I read it the same way you did, that you can't, but I kind of inferred that maybe they should be able to. Um, right, so now I'm going to start attacking with these guys. So five or less. Yes. Looking at six, five, six, five or less. Oh, that's... Whew, that's a small arms attack on an unarmoured target, which is a cohesion hit but very close to um, a step loss on this one step unit. These guys have got to move in and they've got to spend a command point to attack five or less. Yes, six down to five again, five or less. Yes, that's a small arms attack. That's a cohesion hit on an unarmored target, which eliminates them. It's three cohesion hits, and they're gone to the graveyard. Alright, things are starting to look better for the Germans. Um, cleared the road through. Artillery's looking a bit scared. Um, should have listened to Steve earlier and cleared them out a turn earlier. I've left it one turn too late. Um, these guys, getting into column. One, two, three and a half. They'll suffer a cohesion hit to get out of column. Spend a command point to fire on the artillery. Who told me to put in column? <laughs> um, so five or less. Four. So look at six. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine. Minus two is seven or less. Oh, so close. Um, but these guys can follow suit. Column. One, two, three and a half. Taking 
occasion hit. Spending a command point. Do I spend a gem? No. Command point. Up fire from. Oh yeah, thanks. Uh, can they up fire? They're a indirect. They're indirect artillery. Um, indirect RT can't up fire, I think. Um, so I won't, but if you can clarify, pretty sure indirect units, um, mortars, in orange fire ratings, um, can't fire. Brown can, but they're been a bit quiet lately. Um, so there's been a command point. I think I spent that. That's all my command points gone. Five or less. Yep. They are now. Six, five, six, seven, eight, down to six or less. Oh, come on. I've got like two good chances to hit this artillery. And two nines. I'm going to write to Mr. Vassal and say, please fix your dice. Uh, indirect can yellow direct fire. Ah. Orange rating does have yellow direct. Any unit that can direct fire, it says any unit that can direct fire can opportunity fire. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, you're right, sorry. Okay, so in that case, two of them, they're going to fire for the first unit that got out of column, four or less. No, for the second unit that got out of column. Oh wait, but they didn't move out of column. They took a cohesion hit to get out of column. Yeah, I thought I did. Thanks, Blue Toilers. I think the Ameri yeah, I think I've stuffed up some command point spends there. Um, yeah, yeah. So you're right, they can opportunity five, but they couldn't in that circumstance because they took the cohesion hit. Um, Alright, so we'll follow up and keep driving down this road. One, two, three, four. One, two, three and a half. Uh, one, two, three. Um, look, these guys might just try to have a shot at the, um, the town, near zero. Nope. And that's it. So at the end of the turn, I'll move my officers up. At the end of that activation, rather, rather than the end of the turn. Alright, 28th Infantry Division activation, rolling for command. I get 2 plus 5 is 7. 9. Dispatch. Mm, yes, I get 1. Um, right, gotta get this, this artillery out of the way. Um, I guess just make a run for it. Oh, they got a, they got a, they're in trouble. But, uh, I mean, it's gonna take their entire movement just to, to mount. And doing so, draws opportunity fire. Five or less. Yep. Um, so that's four plus two because they're in line of sight. Mm, minus two for the woods. Plus five. So nine. Anything's going to hit. A one is a possible suppression. I think this artillery's screwed. Um, uh, so I'll just roll for it. They pass. Okay. Uh, these guys, five or less. Yep. Again, nine or less. A six is a step loss. Yeah, it's going to die. One, maybe one turn too, one turn too late, getting that actually park out of the way. Um, that's just to get them into uh, their trucks. 
Alright, but behind the lines here, these guys are coming up. Column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Where do I want to put them is the question. Nine, I mean, nine. Maybe, maybe I'll set them up just back here. This is not a lot of great defensive terrain for armor. Um, they have to be in column to move through the woods on the road. Um, if they're in column, it negates the, um, the armor bonuses. Um, so they'll go there. They'll sit. Um, these guys kind of want to help out down in the. S oh, clue those in a bit of trouble. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, they could move in ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. They're in a town. 14, take a gauge and hit. Right, so they um, they now get a minus one for being in town, they just can't move. So they're making a stationary, oh no, it's a village, sorry. Um, yeah, even so, minus three armor rating, that's going to be, it's just a bit more to block that German advance through here. Uh, it's risky. There are more German American reinforcements coming on. I'm kind of trying to stop the Germans here before they get too close. This is kind of an important crossroad. You can see a road heading north and a road heading south. Um, I'd like to try and hold this if I can, as the Americans. Um, okay. Could fire with the organic artillery. What do we have coming up? Green. I'll save my command for now. So that is pretty much it for the American activation. Look, these guys down here, um, uh, this is the, the very southern flank of 27th Panzer's Drive, and I think, I think historically they left this for um, the, is it the 7th Army? Uh, seventh uh, call below them. Um, so basically, 27 Panzer call didn't worry about this. This I think actually, I mean, if it being kind of technical, this road comes around and it links up through Alshade through here. Uh, I was just looking to see. I was curious about the history of this map. Um, so these guys and the Germans need a clear road across the river, and they can't get it through Constam. So they're not worried about this road down here. As I said in the preview video, they could cross over here and kind of tuck in behind the lines to try and pin, pincer <laughs> these units in here. Um, but they're having enough trouble up here. Which means that this American company could consider making their way north. It's just one infantry company, but we can see how stubborn one company can be. Um, I'm not going to do anything with them right now, but I'll keep that in mind for future. Um, and I've lost my mortars. Foolishly. Alright. Done with those guys. Grenadier Regiment 77. Whew, okay. Time to get rid of these engineers. One cohesion hit. Let's throw some mortars in there. Boom. Four minus threes. One or less. That's not how you do it. These guys, needing a zero. That's not how you do it. These guys, needing a zero. That's not how you do it either. Um, Alright, this is a formation activation, so we'll move these guys into the entrenchment. The, not into the entrenchment, into the entrenched area. Where are the IPs? That's capturing it. Um, and they won't spend a command point to fire, that'll sit there. 
Um, so now we go around, uh, starting with these guys here, five or less, yes, six minus two, it's four or less, yes, um, small arms, once again these guys can just be making my points. Next one, five or less, nope, which means one or uh, two or less, nope. Ah, artillery, let's while I'm here, let's look at our off-map artillery. And this is one and four, so we'll start with these guys, uh, needing three or less. Yes, so five minus three, needing, uh, minus two, sorry, three or less. No, just a light barrage marker. You can't capture entrenchments? I think I've been playing that wrong then. I must have misread that. Da, 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 da. Uh, what are benefits? You don't destroy an entrenchment, it just stays there. It benefits any friendly unit that moves into it. Okay, so when it says friendly it means friendly to the original side that built it, got it. I misread that as a uh, friendly kind of occupied, that's how I've been playing it. Thanks Steve. No, no, it's not a special rule, that's how I've been playing it in um, Greatest Day as well. Having said that, I've never benefited from an <laughs> enemy trench, it's just I tend to change the marker over to show it's been captured. Um, so what was I doing? Artillery. Up to the four, so these guys four or less. Two, yep, so they've got a seven, which will turn this into a heavy barrage unless they roll a nine. Seven minus two is five or less. God. Alright, engineers, pioneers, five or less. No. Two or less. No. Two here. Five or less, top unit. No. Two or less. That's a hit, and it's a cohesion hit. Bottom unit, five or less, no, two or less, no. Last unit, five or less, no, two or less, no. So they're very close. Uh, two, two more hits and they're gone. Um, yeah, it's getting close. Um, it has taken me, what now, four turns? So this is, this is yeah, big obstacle in the, the way of the Germans. Um, we've also got these guys, so they foot, so one, two, three, um, hmm, could get him out of column and have some shots, let's do that, let's uh, get him out of column, I can't unmount them yet, don't have enough movement points, you need half your movement allowance, um, yeah, what else we got, that's about it, that's a uh, decent formation activation. 26. Right. Let's roll for command. 4 plus 4 is 8. They need that. Dispatch. Roll 0. That's not what you do. That's nothing. So again, I'm going to be spending these command points for dispatch. I think it's worth it. Um, yeah. Your formation activations are the priority. I, I always think they're, they're my priority. A circle, what's going on? Okay. Um, just gonna. No, it's working. Okay. They can move, of course. Um, now I can unmount them. Um, yeah, computer's running slow for a reason. I'm just gonna save it quickly. Spending a command point to fire with my organic artillery, probably not worth it. A roll of two, they're going to need a zero to hit. Um, organic artillery, well, it only cause a cohesion hit. And it, yeah, same odds as everyone else. Um, we do have the rest of the division. I've got to 
to spend some command points to try and kill off this artillery. So, five or less. They're passing their first action. Five or less. Can we bonus? Yep. They're now six. Uh, six plus five, minus two. So six plus three is nine or less, basically. Eight or less will hit. A seven. That's got to. It's a small arms. Um, it's a step loss. Um, and they've already got a step loss, so they're gone. which clears up some of this road uh, or I can clear them up for rally so I'm going to rally these guys and it's great space for the rest of these units so one one and a half two and a half and I'll stop just short of that armoured unit um, Two, three, four. Um, one, two, three, plus one for up the slope. Um, one, two, three. Uh, I don't think it's worth spending a command point to place a barrage marker on the tanks at this stage. These guys are going to get column one, two, three, four. Five, we've got five movement points. Um, right, time to move this. One, two, three, four. Time to get these guys out of the river. One, two, three, four. All right, we can get these guys over the river as well. Okay, let's put in column one, two. Three, four. One, two. Now just move with them. Wow, uh, what's that? One. Uh, add smoke MP. No, where was the smoke? Smoke movement point. Oh, there's a barrage marker there. Um, nope, I forgot that. This unit should have stopped one short. I can bring them back there. Um, they were one, two, three. Actually, yeah, they're both short. I don't want to push them too close to those tanks in column, so they'll stop quite a bit short, actually. Yeah, thanks. But uh, I accidentally felt I found its way to the bottom. Um, and these guys are still. Attacking the engineers, so they'll say there. And this is his guys, okay. Look, is that Riga going to be a problem? Let's just send out a little guy with a white flag to say, are you guys just going to sit there patiently or are you going to try and threaten this road? Um, look, I think these, these reinforcements can deal with them. Column one, two, three, four. In your event, so that's fine, I think. Alright, done with those guys. The second Panzer Division. Throw for command. Four plus five is nine. Dispatch. Uh, six gives them at least one. They have a lot of command. Sleeve. Um, oh, there's a tank there now. <laughs> Let's see. Now, now it's now it's really tough again. <laughs> uh, is it worth it? Is it worth spending my artillery? Nice big artillery. Yeah. Let's spend two command points to try and knock out um, the infantry. Yep. Okay. Four or less. No. 
5 minus 2. No, not even a barrage marker. Alright, the other the other artillery, 4 or less. Um, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, okay, well, make up for me, Mr. Vassal, with a 0. That's good enough. That's a... Uh, what is it? Indirect HE on an unarmored target is a suppression result. Um, now that they've got their armor with them, I think they can take the uh, suppression. Uh, the way I, what, what I'm thinking of here is, if they're assaulted, <laughs> the armor is going to really protect. What's happening with those grey zones on the east side of the river? Uh, nothing over here. Nothing happens pretty much east of this river. You could, in effect, I mean, there's these roads. I don't know if. Um, is that what you're referring to? East side of the river. Always found that solution, whatever it is. Just graphic. Yeah. It's strange. I guess it just clarifies that you can't move here. It's the same with those greyed out, impassable zones in the greatest day. It's just showing that you can't move from here to this hex. It shows that the unit can move from 8505 to 8605. So that's why they're coloured. You can't move from 8706. 8605. Am I paying CPs for those big art park misses? Yeah, I spent them both at the same time. So there's a second Panzer, they went down two points. Um, and again, technically I should pay for them one at a time, but I always sort of pre-pay, uh, especially when playing by Vassal, um, when you're clicking, you gotta, you gotta click, reduce, close, do your thing, and then click, reduce. I just find it easier still, both at once. Um, so yeah, suppressed some infantry, and as I said, the, um, the reason I'm not too worried about this, the reason I'm having to take the suppression is because they've got this big heavy armoured unit which will affect the bravery checks, uh, and they'll be, they don't have a great assault rating, but um, they'll be able to hold the hex, I'm pretty confident. The infantry aren't going to want to assault here. Um, look, I, I, I tend to assault very rarely. There's a, the assault's rules are very complex for for rules that I don't use very often. I typically wait until the defenders are suppressed, um, under a barrage marker, or completely uh, outnumbered by infantry, which has a lot of command up their sleeve. Um, and this isn't one of those situations. Um, happy to hear feedback from other people if you suppress, if you assault more frequently than I do, but it's it's something I um, look, if I've got units with great, are these, are these are sound assault ratings, five's nice, but, and they're, they're, yeah, they're decent assault ratings, I guess, but, um, maybe I should be assaulting. They are called the assault force. <laughs> uh, but now there's a tank there, and they don't have the best troop quality. I mean, for assault force, surely... Major Cochran spoke to them and said, look guys, we're going to have to assault the, these towns. Let's get our troop quality up a bit. Um, it does improve, I'll say that. Uh, they're currently on zero. Uh, what I played through, I played through part of the campaign. Yeah, infantry don't, don't like tanks. Um, I think there was a, an event that increased their... No, there wasn't an No, sorry, I'm thinking other stuff. The troop, their command rating and dispatch rating improves, not their troop quality. I think. I uh, could be wrong. Um, so where was I? Division activation. Um, one, two, three. Uh, do I head to Clover? I'm going to go one, two, three. The tank would be able to shoot at me. Should place a barrage marker after that second barrage, which means the tank won't be able to shoot me. Um, look, I I'll play it safe and not do anything, so I'll pass the rest of that division activation on. Uh, an event. Um, get to the event schedule again, and there is nothing happening. Eleven hundred turn. So at 
least two turns before any events happen, so I roll for an event. And it's a 9, which gives us uh, Feldersatz replacements. The German player may replace one step loss from any infantry not in a fire zone. There are no step losses. Um, a destroyed infantry unit may be placed back on the map. I haven't lost any units either. Uh, so it's a basically no effect, which is a shame. Would have been really nice later. Which leaves us with one... Uh, the American Direct Command, I think. Must be the last activation. Now, I'm about, I think I'm about two and a half hours into this, um, and I think this is a good point to stop. Um, yeah, I'll leave it there, and I'll save the game. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, happy to take on board any feedback. Uh, I'm sure I've missed things. As you can see, I tend to play through very quickly, and I do tend to miss a lot um, in my haste. Um, this is, what I, what I wanted to showcase here was really the map and this particular scenario and to give you a sense of what this scenario does is it captures the opening moments of 27th uh, Pensacola's drive west and across that river um, and attempted to sort of break open this, these initial allied defences. What you've seen is pretty poor tactical play. Um, oh, both knights missed, thanks. It's about to go anyway. Um, yeah, I really, I really, uh, I mean, I've played through the opening turns of the campaign and, and I can't remember what I did here, but I kind of f fussed around with um, both of these formations. Um, it's, it's worked out okay, and I'm starting feeling a little bit more confident from the German perspective, the movement of this Allied armor could throw some spanners in the works. Um, there are, let me show you the reinforcement schedule again, a lot of, there's certainly more German count group coming on, you can see here, a lot of strong units. But then, and this is going to be hard to see unless I move, but then from early morning, it starts off, actually there's just more Germans. <laughs> Where did I see the Allied reinforcements? I think it maybe just be. Yep, more Germans. More Germans. More Germans. It's just I do have some no uh, activation markers to remind me there's one there. Releasing some of those. Um, that's, an AT, that's a powerful AT gun there. Um, I can do something with that infantry. As I said in my preview video, oh here we go up here, mortar and infantry company, and infantry company. It's not a matter of if the Germans cross the river, but when. So just to give you a sense of what's happening, it's we're moving into the 1300 turn. The Germans have one, two, and then three, four, five more daylight turns, and one night turn to get across that river. Um, there's an AT gun sitting there. If they can get through this armor, it's wide open. I don't know if they can do it. Um, I, th I feel like maybe they're going too slow. Um, maybe I can pin down. The, uh, but look, again, it's not just enough to reach through. I'm just thinking, could I send these engineers around and clear out Clairvaux? Yeah, I could, but that doesn't provide them with a connected road through to the bridges out in the east. I think uh, this is probably my best chance here. This road is now clear and I've got one armoured unit and there's a bridge here. Um, yeah, maybe maybe I really start focusing on spending command points here to get that tank. Um, it's possible. I think this is now going to be really difficult. I don't like my chances up here. It's going to take several turns to build up the cohesion hits against both of these units. Keeping in mind, let's zoom in, uh, that this is just one cohesion hit and one cohesion hit. They're both two step units. <sighs> that's a that's a negative three. Um, and keeping in mind as well, uh, 
what's going to happen on the morning of the 17th of December is another fog turn. Just one, not two. But then it rains and rain, <laughs> rain um, adds more movement penalties. <sighs> so it's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, but anyway, that is scenario three uh, from Race Bastone. It is hold your position at all costs. Um, this, uh, as I said, just has about 26 more, uh, what do you call it, pre-orders needed to reach its 500 target. Um, check it out on the MMP website, I've got the link below in the description. I also want to give credit to uh, Lee Forrester, did a preview of this. Um, the, I, I did a preview of this where I covered sort of the context and the broader context of the what this title covers. Um, I've played through the early the, the learning scenarios and I think I covered one of those in a, a quick and a long report so check those out if you want to have sort of more of a sense of what it's all about. Um, but just again to reiterate it's pretty manageable. This is one of the two maps. So if you imagine these, this side by side with another map this is 22 by 34 inches, um, relatively low counter density. Um, you don't have massive stacks in big city areas. Um, instead, you've got these sort of choke points on these roads, as I talked about in my, my other video. All right, folks, it's, uh, it's late here, so I'm going to head off. Thank you again, everyone for watching. Um, feel free to leave a, a comment. Um, yeah, take care everyone.